I start with a piece of this one quarter inch thick Luan plywood from Home Depot. I can buy it in two foot by four foot sheets. One side is typically very, very nice. That's the side I use as the, uh, the finish side on the boards. I can cut them, and then I cut that plywood on my table saw to various sizes. This is 10 and a half by 12, no, 10 by 12 and a half. The standard size for all the small um, sand paintings, the auspicious symbols, is 7 inches by 7 inches. And then I paint those front and back. I am painting the back side with a light coating of the um, paint to keep it from absorbing moisture and ever warping. That, in this particular case, that's being painted with this uh, Painter's Touch Rust-Oleum. It is an oil base uh, paint. It's got paint and primer all in one. This particular color is the Oasis Blue Satin. I got this at Home Depot as well. Those are spray painted. I put a light coat on the uh, back side and I hit the edges at the same time. Then I put a heavier coat on the front good side after they're flipped over. And I also hit the edges again because so, the edges will absorb a lot of, of the paint. And I put a heavier coat on the finished side of the boards and let them dry. That dries well overnight. I want to center. This is a 7x7 seven seven board. I want to center the hanger one inch down and centered in the board. In order to do that, I have created a uh, little template that I lay on the board. And then I'm simply punching through. Then I'm simply punching through the template holes with an awl. Simply punching through the template holes with an awl to create the two quote pre-drilled holes for the uh, hanger. And then I'll pre-drill a screw, I'll pre-screw a screw halfway in in each of those holes to thread those holes in there. And then after it's done, I'll put the hanger on there. So after the boards are cut and painted, the monks work their magic with the sand painting. And that's where the real artistry comes into the whole process. The hangers I'm using are these sawtooth hangers, once again from Home Depot. They come in these value pack of 35 pieces. The holes are a little bit small as they come, so I'm enlarging those holes to about an eighth of an inch. I'm using 3 8 inch long wood screws uh, and in order to prevent them from going completely through to the front side of the quarter inch plywood I'm putting two washers under the heads of the screws to keep them from going through Yeah, it'll be okay. That's that just does that. It's just So what I'm doing is I'm using a very fine mist of uh, oil-based polyurethane. This is clear satin Verithane oil-based polyurethane so I'm starting fairly high so that I don't disturb the sand. I'm a good 18 inches above the sand painting. 
and I'm misting it from all directions to lock the sand in place. And it takes quite a bit of the polyurethane. And as the sand gets locked in place, I can get a little closer. And I'm, set, I'm making sure that all of the sand gets thoroughly saturate, saturated. Thin layers of sand start to show the background color through just a little bit. It's just one of the things the process does. But I'm making sure that all the sand is good and saturated so it really gets glued to the background. And it, it naturally, when it dries, it gets a little duller. Uh, this, this is shiny because it's wet right now. It gets a little duller and the colors really pop again real nicely. So it's better when it dries. It looks better. So that right there, I can see I've got a good thick layer where the sand isn't and the sand is good and saturated. Yes, yeah, a gorgeous work of art. Globe songs by, working on. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The principles of uh, dependent origination in causal terms, in terms of causal dependence, you understand the law of the karma, uh, the causal principles that operates fundamentally in reality, and also by complementing that understanding of causal principle with understanding of dependent origination at a much subtler level, then you uh, understand the nature of dharma. You know, in terms of um, cessation and the parts that lead to the cessation, and once you have gained understanding of uh, cessation and the path, then you also gain an understanding of what Tathagata means or what the Buddha means. So today, you can say, "Den Shi Nam Sha Shi Ba La, Den Yu Nam Sha, Den Shi Nam Sha Chang Shi Ba La, Den Yu Nam Sha Shi Ba Shi." Therefore, I feel that uh, in order to develop uh, profound understanding, comprehensive understanding of the four noble truths. I think it is uh, uh, necessary to have understanding of the two truths. Home 